Oh, but hey, my name is Kenya K. We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Rule today. So I did change up the schedule a little bit, uh, cause tomorrow I'm gonna be playing Helldivers 2 with my brother. So uh, we're playing Master Rule today. I, I didn't want to uh, just get rid of Master Rule this week, so we're playing Master Rule today on Friday. Next week we should go and be going back to the normal schedule, ish, probably. I don't know. Pro We're gonna be doing something Yu-Gi-Oh related on Saturday. We're gonna be going back to doing that next week. That we're playing Master Duel. I have, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what this deck does. I'm planning on playing, um, whatever this thing is, Roar of the Illusion Bees. I have no idea what this deck does. All I know is that it has funny magician man that's not a magician and is also, I'm pretty sure no one ever plays this. Thanks, Godabi. Look, Guardian Chimera, my favorite illusion monster. I did take a look at this a little beforehand. Looks like you need to get like, somehow get a fusion and an illusion and a fiend in your hand. And then summon some of these guys, and then if you have a certain thing, you can use one of these guys to summon the this larger funny dude. Or I guess I can use fusion armament. I don't... What's the difference between fusion armament and, like, that one other card? Well, I, I guess the other one just gets you a card to the hand. I guess it's not that useful if you want to be fusion summoning using another extra deck. Ah, uh, the Chimera Loner saw lots of it while grinding for the three titles. Yeah. I mean, I do have decks that I could use for this. Normally, I'd just use, um... I I'd probably just use my Red Dragon Archfiend deck. But I already played it recently, and I have no idea what this does. And also, I don't have the gems to make a new deck, so might as well just play this one. Also, Dark Viper, welcome back to the stream. But yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea what this deck does. I think this one is the starter. You know what? I'll learn how this deck... Do I'll learn what this deck does as I play. What could possibly go wrong? I'm not going to hit the time limit. No, it's not possible. So, I don't know, is Ash Blossom banned? Is Baron the Floor banned? Well, it's banned somewhere, but I don't know if it's banned here. Oh, Mans is using a custom deck. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know what this card is supposed to do. I don't know how I'm supposed to bring this card out. Wait, okay. Uh, I do have Ash Blossom here. I, I guess I can just attempt to negate it. I, I don't, he probably has more extenders though. I don't think this is actually gonna do anything. Okay, yeah. I unfortunately cannot beat uh, Speedroids while they're going first. Not with this deck. I don't think this deck I don't think this deck has any outs to negates, cause like, if he if he negates my the one normal summon that I have, I, I basically just can't play. So I don't think I can. Of course, then again, maybe I should have just played through that because I have no idea what this deck is. Portal or Sword Knight are the combo starters, bearing any ash as you can. Use a fusion level eight. The thing is though, he's probably just gonna summon a Baron. Actually, I don't know. I don't even know if Baron is legal here. If it's if if it's not, he's gonna summon some kind of negate. Dang it! I would like to go first. I would also not like to not draw perform it in my opening hand. Um. Uh, okay. Um. I think. I guess the only thing I can do is use Fright for Patchwork, and then 
It's like none of none of these do it actually do anything. It's like if this one you can probably does something if it gets discarded or if it gets sent to the graveyard. But I don't know. It might, do I have a way of fusion summoning here? Baron is legal in event. Use Khmer multiple times as Baron bait. This I Beastle five goals Khmer fusion. Thing is though, like I don't. I need a beast monster or a fiend. I don't think it can actually do anything with this hand. I might just have to scoop because this hand doesn't do anything. Especially if he just summons Baron, then yeah, I have to scoop because I can't actually do anything. Oh yeah, gee, I would like multiple copies of Fright for Patchwork Konami. How, how helpful. I can fuse all of my fusions together. I can fuse all of my fiends together to make a monster that requires something that's specifically not fiend. Uh, okay. Yeah, if he's if he just summons Baron, then I'm probably just dead. Use Fright Fur to summon, uh, then summon to activate fusion and combo off. Oh wait, Guardian Chimera is the thing that exists. I forgot. Guardian Chimera is randomly a beast monster. Wait, what is this? I've never seen this before. What does this symbol mean? Does this have it? No. Does this have it? Um... Yeah, I have no idea what this means. <laughs> I am now banned from using stop signs. That's what it means. In short, use all level cards. Your level is event-only card. Certain blue icons refer to ban list specific to you and your opponent. Red is your opponent's, blue is yours. Oh. Oh! That's what that means. Well, to be fair, it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> it doesn't actually help me in this instance. It's like, oh no, I can't use the, fu the synchro in my fusion deck. Apparently, I could. I guess I can use tuners in here. Because this tuner isn't banned. Uh, what does this do? Yeah, I might be screwed here. Uh, if he negates my polymerization. Actually, yeah. If he negates my polymerization, then I'm probably just screwed. Unless if Edge Imp. What's his face actually does something relevant? Uh, target in. Well, I guess I could just use this. I'm gonna try using this first. I should probably read what this does, though. In your turn, when this card is fusion summon, uh, special summon a token, or one spur. Her opponent's turn while I'll control no token, special summon if this card is okay, so that doesn't do anything. So I think I just get rid of Baron to floor. And then he has to negate this. There you go. Wait, this doesn't target? Oh cool, that doesn't target. Okay, there's the Baron pop, so now I should be fine. Probably. I don't remember what Edge Imp What's His Face does. Oh, it adds more Fright for cards. Okay, gotcha. Do I need Vomit in my hand or graveyard? This card is going to target an illusion monster in my graveyard. I don't have an illusion monster, Konami. Illusion monsters do not exist, they're an illusion. 
just like called by the grave. Special um a free monster, you can special this card from the graveyard, if it's there, or hand, or banish it. Um I don't think this does anything right now. Wait, why can't I? Okay, so I have to summon the Edge Imp Shane, and then I use Palmerization. Um, thing is though, none of my, like, Bafomet has an effect that I can special summon Illusion from my graveyard, but I don't have them because apparently they don't exist. So I guess I just have to do uh, use three, these three, so I can get this on the field, or something. Does this actually do anything on the field, though? How do I summon this? Um... Because... If I use <clears throat> if I use that as fusion material, it's not gonna come back because it wasn't in the graveyard when I sent everything. Um, I guess I get I uh, pop the whatever this thing is called and I just attack over the Baron. Oh, how would you look at that? A few, a, a illusion monster. You but it would have been real useful if I drew you earlier. Um. Okay. Wait, what? Dang it, Konabi! Uh, okay, then I guess I just attack that. Or I guess I can just call by the grave the white... Bahamut, or whatever it's called. I would like to not have all three copies of my Fright for Patchwork on turn one, though. That would be very convenient. Okay, so maybe if I use Mirror Sword Knight to summon the big wing Bahamut, Bahamut, what's his face? Wait, why does that have like a million bajillion defense? Okay, whatever. What, what, whatever, it's probably fine. I can't even summon this! Okay, yeah, this card, I don't think this card does anything. I guess I just attack over the Baron. Uh, huh? Okay, yeah, I don't think this deck beats that. Okay, yeah, I, I have no idea how this deck is supposed to work. Well, to be fair, I couldn't actually do anything else because apparently illusions don't exist. Where did you make Baird illegal, Kudabi? Baird is supposed to be banned in the TCG. Why is it legal here? Ah. I would like to... I would like to not draw Bufomet and Gazelle. The, I would like to draw a single illusion, please. You, you know what would be convenient, Konami? Not drawing Bufomet. Uh, actually, no, I can probably use this to, uh... Actually, no, this... <laughs> I can unironically summon Chimera, the flying mythical beast. 
I mean, I don't I don't know why this is here, but I can. <laughs> Just wait until you see the other innovative decks, like Arise Heart Turbo. Dang Konami. Can I can I not draw multiple copies of these, please, Konami? That would be very convenient. I, you know the funny thing is, I don't even think I can use all of these because I have I just opened an Edge Imp Chain. Now I have two, and they don't do anything. If I draw Edge Imp Chain next turn, then my Fright for Patrick is completely useless. Um, okay. So, what does this do? Okay, I can't summon that. Um... If this card is for you to summon, you can send a thing to the thing. Okay. If this card is fusion summon, uh, you can activate this effect on one random card. Okay. I, I guess I just have to summon this thing. I could su just summon Guardian Chimera. I don't think I will though. I think it's better just to summon the other thing. Um, okay, so... Let's try to fuse summon, you can send one beast. Okay, so I think I summon this thing. Because... I believe... That it sends stuff with graveyard effects. And I'll just chain block like this. Dang it, Kunabi, how is this supposed to beat Bestials? <laughs> I don't think this deck functions properly. Okay, but like... But what if I just... Called by my own monster? Wait, that's not how... Wait, I can't call by my own monster. <laughs> Dang it! That's not how Called by the Grave works. Um... I think this deck... Okay, yeah. I, I think this deck just loses the Bestials. Because I need stuff in my graveyard. And Bestials will just get rid of everything. So, I think I just have to scoop again. Okay, so far 2 out of 2. Actually, no, I think that was 3 out of... 3 out of 3. 3 out of 3 losses, it's not looking that good for this deck. You know what I would prefer, aside from not... You know, you know what I prefer? If there is like a structure deck only event, that would be significantly more fun than being forced to play this thing. I was going on like seven, eight lost streaks with my own decks, and all three groups would be like that. Dang. Uh, okay, what does this do? You can add a little five or Chimera Fusion. I think I summon this thing. And tribute it for the big wing Bafomet, which I would prefer to not have in my hand, please. Uh you can discard this card, okay. So I think I summon the big wing Bafomet. Um And then, I guess, I get this guy out. I would like to have an illusion monster, Konami. Apparently, illusion monsters don't exist. Um, and I guess I just have to activate Chimera Fusion. Um...
Discard is future summon, you can send one from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, so I think I summon this thing, and I'll use these two. Surely Lightning Storm isn't a card that exists in this event, right? Okay, so this doesn't do anything. You can add one monster that mentions Chimera Fusion. Um, maybe I add this one so I can use this effect to discard and I just have another illusion in the graveyard. And then there's a Fright for Patchwork. And I think one of these does a thing when it's in the graveyard. Uh, maybe I send this to the graveyard. No, this doesn't do anything while it's in the graveyard. Okay, so maybe I just send another one of these guys to the graveyard and I'll activate Fright for Patchwork to get a fusion. Actually, I can probably summon that thing that requires all three now. Um, add this card to hand, banish this card. I guess I add Chimera Fusion back to the hand. Can I summon this again? Oh dang, I could use it again. I think it would be better if I just... use a regular Poly though. I have no idea what I'm doing. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Um, this card battles a monster and I'm at the end same step. Okay, that doesn't do actually do anything right now. Uh, maybe I just summon this guy. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just clicking things at random. And then this thing activates, and then what does this do? Target an illusion in the graveyard special summon. Okay, so I guess I summon this one. And maybe I just set the Chimera Fusion for next turn. So it can summon... Chim the other Chimera. The non-archetypal Chimera. And then I probably activate this to get another thing to my hand. Um, maybe this one. No, I'll add this one to my hand. And then I think I just end my turn. And it narrows the part where I summon a rank six. Here's the part where I summon a Beatrice. <laughs> uh, I mean, I okay, Exo Sisters. That's actually really bad for me because all the stuff at. Why is everything anti Chimera Fusion? <laughs> everything is anti Chimera Fusion. Everything specifically counters this deck. Oh. Uh, but why? But why though? This deck is broken. It is. I, I think it's like pretty close to unusable. <laughs> If this card is, um, exceed... Okay. Utopia OTK, I see how it is. Turn to Utopia OTK. Um... 
Okay, so that was his normal summon, so maybe I activate Chimera Fusion over here. So I can summon Guardian Chimera. And I'll use this, and this, and this, so I can pop both of these. You know, maybe I should, maybe I should run ZS's in my, in my, uh, Exosister deck. Instead of Magistus. I have no idea what I, what these cards do, I'm just randomly, randomly summoning things. Okay, I should not have summoned that one. Oh, hello, Ash Blossom. Ha! Take that! I definitely know what I'm doing! What knight to special summon level 5 Chimera Fusion in the hand, or level 3 to discard to add a Chimera to Fusion? Just say yes. Level 9, it's draw, then pop equal to materials broken. If you protected you. Oh, so you meant broken as in, uh, the good broken, not the bad broken. Dang it! Not so fast! I activate forehead! Ah, you see, there are two types of broken. The good broken and the bad broken. <laughs> there, there's the... There's the... There's the new school broken is that everything is absolutely overpowered. Or the old school of broken, meaning literally broken. <laughs> Back in my day, broken only had one meaning. Joyous forehead. In short, just Chimera Fusion and use the activates when they sent the rave. Gotcha. I see. I'm I'm playing a Chimera deck. This is no longer Mythical Beast. What's his? Well, I guess it's technically part of the Chimera archetype. I think. What do you even call this? Like the Chimera Fusion deck? Oh, hello, Fusion Armament and also Edge and Chain and a thing that. Uh, gets me polymerization and also edge. In how many how many copies of Polly do I have in my deck? Oh, good! I have more than one copy of Polly in my deck. Hooray! Wow, this hand. This is a going second hand, I think. Would you look at that? I'm consistently getting called by the grave. It just has to be a deck that I don't have. It just has to be not my deck. All the decks that I make, it doesn't matter if I put called by the grave in there. I, I never draw them. Only when I use someone else's deck can I get called by the grave. Okay, so I only have two polys in here, meaning that if I draw another copy of Fright for Patchwork, uh, it'll be completely useless. Uh, which I will definitely get because Edge Imp Chain is a card that exists. So my Edge Imp Chain will get me another copy of Fright for Patchwork, uh, which doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> uh, hmm. I guess I have to grab this one. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to interact with my opponent next turn. Small Chimera. Maybe I should have... Wait, why did I... Dang it, I should not have put that in the fence position. It's probably fine. He's definitely not going to attack over this. I'm, I'm so... Master Duel has conditioned me to be terrified of Lightning Storm. So I just instinctively put everything in defense position. Discarding um okay, this doesn't do anything in the graveyard. I 
I guess I just send this one. Uh, can I summon something else using this? I guess I can use this again, but then I won't get Polly back. Actually, no, I can I can recycle the Polly if I just summon this thing. Read Guardian Chimera's last effect. Which one is Guardian Chimera again? <laughs> they all have they all have Chimera in their names. There, Lightning Storm definitely doesn't exist. Um, place the current bottom deck, okay. So, before this gets popped, I guess I just put this Polly back into my deck so I can use Fright for Patchwork. Can I summon this? Does this do anything? I guess I can summon this. Fusion the Fusion uses Grave Effect. Garden Chimera is the material guy with the poly protection. Oh yeah, that card. I, I keep thinking it's like one of the new cards. Uh, so I guess I have to add the Chimera Fusion, and I guess I just set this for next turn. This is this is what an end board looks like. I used nine cards in order to summon two monsters. Still better than Ursa Arctics. I should know, I play them. I think I might be screwed here. I think I might be in trouble. Well, then again... Wait, no, I can't use this. Dang it! But why? Do I have, like, protection in here? Um, does any of this has, like, protection? I don't think so. Um, I guess I just banish this thing. Well, it doesn't matter if we destroy it, because it could just use this effect. Um. Okay. Can I summon a thing? If this card is fusion summon, you can activate it. Someone run your opponent's turn. Can you banish this card? I guess I summon whatever this guy is. And then that way, at least during the end phase, I can get stuff back to my field. And, I mean, I... Did he use, I don't know if he used his normal summon. No, I, I don't think he used his normal summon. Uh, but he's gonna get... He, he's gonna get his... What's his face? The funny dragon guy. That's not a funny dragon guy! I think I'm just dead. Uh, yeah, I think I just have to scoop, because... Uh, okay. Yeah, this deck does not beat Sword Soul- No, correction, this deck does not beat Raigeki. Garbage. <laughs> this deck does not beat the- one of the- the top deck Raigeki. This deck is automatically bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I could have done anything there, because you would have just summoned the Baron. And the first thing that- He's probably just gonna summon the Baron and negate the Chimera, and... Could you not, Kudabi? <laughs> could you... Could you not give me all of my Garnets? I summon Edge Imp Chain! I summon... I infinitely combo now! <laughs> oh! What is this? He is, but then I won't be able to do anything next turn, I don't think. Um... And like, cause I don't think I could have gotten anything from my... 
Unless, like, Guardian, like, Chimera Fusion does something. I don't know. I'm, like, not used to this deck yet, so I don't remember what anything does. Can I not draw the what? The giz Can I not draw the vanilla monster Konami? That would be very convenient. I keep drawing all of my guardians. It's actually really annoying. Okay. Um, I can probably do something with Mirror Sword Knight, but I don't. Why is this? Why is this card in here? Why is Vanilla Gazelle in here? The deck is just bait to use it. Um, okay, so I think I summon Big Wing before mid. Um, let's go! Let's go! Turn one! Turn one, Chimera Fusion! Actually, no. Chimera Fusion FDK is real! This deck is the best thing ever confirmed! People don't like this deck. I should probably, like, learn how to- I think I need to learn how to use this deck, uh, before. I, I need to learn how to use this deck first before it go goes into the realm of people don't like this deck. Okay, correction. People don't like this deck, but they like it when I pilot it because I have no idea what I'm doing. Also because I keep drawing all of my garnets. It's annoying to play against. Gotcha. Um, okay, so, it's annoying to play against, yet, I keep drawing cards that don't do anything. <laughs> um, okay, so I summon Big Wing before mid. We have before mid and bigger before mid. But why? I guess I just Chimera Fusion this now. Mirror Knight Tribute for 5, you wanna send to Grave Illusion Magician? Does Illusion Magician do something that I'm not yet aware of? Um, if Scourge Fusion is summoned, you can send a... Okay, so that sends the thing. What does this do? You can target one Illusion Monster in your graveyard, so summon it. Okay. So, I'm assuming that I send this to the graveyard, and this one, and that one. Summon the first Chimera. Which one is the first Chimera? <laughs> um, is it this one? Send one random thing to the graveyard, um... That's okay, I don't need to learn how to play this deck because my opponent will surrender before I can learn how to play this deck properly. <laughs> that is the real strength of this deck. It's so easy even an idiot can pilot it. You don't even need to learn how this deck works. I should probably read uh, what this does. I, I should probably read what it does though. <laughs> Okay, so that is not a Chimera. So, this Chimera, this creates future something you can act with specs on one random card uh, from your opponent's hand to graveyard. Uh, you're gonna end phase, banish this card from graveyard, target a fig. Oh, okay. 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 I'm getting a better idea of what I'm supposed to. I, I'm getting a better idea of what the combo is now. So, I'm assuming that you use one of your starters or whatever and you attempt to get this guy out using maybe chimera fusion and then you get chimera fusion back to summon what does this guy do okay i don't think this card does anything um and then maybe Summon the first Chimera, send Illusion Magician from the next grave, read the card. Let me read uh, what this card does. This card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by ba that battle at the end of the battle. Damage step, this card battles. Okay. 
Um, I don't think this card does anything. Like, it don't, I think this only card only does something when it's battling something. But if I'm going first, I don't think I want to summon this because it can just get popped really easily. Want the sword guy and grave to use this in the gate? Okay. So I send either this guy. So I have to send this guy to the graveyard and this guy to the graveyard and they have graveyard effects. Nightmare works like Jet Dragon. Protection effects. Okay, so let me let me let me try to figure this out. So first I have to attempt to summon this guy. And then I think I get Chimera Fusion back from the grave in order to either summon this guy or this guy. Or maybe I summon this guy using this as a fusion. I don't know, it seems kind of like a waste of materials though. I mean, this does rip a card out. Or maybe I just use Chimera Fusion during the standby phase because this guy gets me a card back. The vanilla, the vanilla Chimera, so you can use Chimera Fusion to summon the vanilla Chimera and perform it. Does the vanilla version actually does anything? I don't think the vanilla version actually does anything. I basic, I think it's just here so you can use Fusion Armament. I'd start the damage. Uh, Nightmare pop. You're meant to waste materials. It is, but if my opponent never goes into the damage step anyways and just... Oh, you mean it's like basically just bait? Just like an effect bait? Okay, I see what you're getting now. Now I, I've just been conditioned to be like, oh, it does things during the battle phase. Ew, garbage. <laughs> That's why I initially um, re I read what was it called that one that one dragon deck that summons a crap ton of stuff during the damage uh, during the battle phase that hasn't come out in the TCG yet I, that I keep forgetting what it's called. I, I, re I initially just read it and it was like, oh, it does stuff in the damage step. Or does stuff in the battle phase garbage, but no, that card is actually that deck is actually pretty fun. Tempai, yeah, Tempai. Okay, I'm starting to get it now. I still don't think these cards need to be in here because, like, really, you never really want to be summoning this. I think it's just in here to cheat out using fusion armament, and that's literally its only purpose. But I think I have a better idea. I think I have a better understanding of how to play this deck now. Read Chimera Fusion. Fusion Grave. Fusion Repeat. You're climbing like Ligmet climbing. Okay, gotcha. Chimera Fusion, the second banish effect. Okay, I'll, re I'll read it the next time I get a chance. They're in there to refill your hand resources. Oh, would you look at that? Chimera Fusion. Okay. Banish this card and if you do special summon both one Gazelle, the King of Mystical Beast, and one before it from you. Oh, that's in there. I personally, um, well, I'd probably say that if it was anyone other than me, then you could probably run those in there. But unfortunately, because it's me, I will always draw them. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I think I attempt to bait out whatever my opponent has using Fright for Patchwork. You know, I really wanted to make a Predaplant deck, but that deck is not good. Unfortunately. Okay, so I summon Gazelle, the King of Mystical Claws. I'm actually having a really hard time remembering these names because they're so similar. <laughs> They're so long and so similar as well. Uh, okay. So, I guess I just have to summon this thing. And I go into a funny dude. This is... I 
think I use Chimera Fusion here. Because I can easily get it back. Um, and then, I'll, let me try summoning this first. And I'll use this. And I'll use this. And, um, I chain block like this, I believe. And I don't really know what this is for. I'm not going to summon this because I don't think it... Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to use this as... I think maybe I'm supposed to use this as fusion material. And then that way I can get it back. It is a little clunky though, because if I use this as fusion material, I don't think I'm going to get it back immediately, because I don't think that's how this deck works. I, I don't think that's how- the wording says that it needs to either be in the graveyard or in the hand, but if it's being sent to the graveyard, it's going to be in some kind of weird in-between state. So I think I grab this. And then I add Chimera Fusion again. Holy crap, I could be playing Slifer the Sky Dragon and have a crap ton of attack. Um, okay. So. I think... No, I'm gonna use regular poly because... I want this to be face down on my field. Stop overthinking this. Can I be monkey brain now? Okay, what does this card do? Uh, this card didn't attack. Um, okay, this card doesn't do anything on my opponent's turn. So... I think I summon this one. So this one doesn't need to be on my field anymore. And I can use this one. And attack position, because it can just get run over. Maybe I should have used this one to be sent to my graveyard. Oh well. My opponent has some- it's- I don't think it's an Ash Blossom, because he would have used it already. I don't know if- is it an Imperm? Okay, it is an Imperm. Um... I think I don't do anything here. You know, or maybe I use this to summon. That way I can easily get out Chimera. The big Chimera dude. Using Chimera Fusion. Okay, that is probably the play. And then now I think I just set everything. And then I use this, and this card's a thing. Oh, Galaxy Soldier. You know what would be funny? You know what would be funny if you were using this against Tier Elements? <laughs> and you just send a Tier Element to the graveyard, and your opponent's like, Oh, looks like it's my turn now. Um... I'm going to attempt to use this, and I think I bring out Big Wing Bafomet because it does a lot of stuff when it gets summoned. Oh. 
and it adds me a gazelle. Add another card? Okay, sure, I'll add... I guess I'll add another copy of Chimera Fusion. <laughs> that was a good discard. It was a good discard. No Cyber Dragon Infinities for you. You can send one Photon of Galaxy card from your graveyard. Okay. I do have a called by. I, I really want the new tacky on dragon support to work. Uh, so for some, okay, I guess I will call by that. I really want to use tacky on dragons. I use them in Duel Links and then they got nerfed. Thanks, Konami. And now I refuse to pull for any more sp Speed dual packs. I am exclusively a rush dual player. Um, okay, so I think I activate Chimera Fusion and I just pop everything. Um, Guardian Chimera, and I use this one, and I use this one because I want them to be on the field, and I use want, I want them in the graveyard, and I want to use that in the graveyard too. Okay, I, I'm slowly learning how this deck works, and I, I should not have done that. Maybe I should not have activated that, oh well. I'm just kind of clicking yes right now. Let's go! Okay, okay, I, I kind of know, I, I have a pretty good idea of how this deck works now. So, I'm assuming that I don't actually summon the, the uh, Nightmare Magician. Well, okay, so let's, I think I summon the Nightmare Magician if I have uh, extra materials. Like, if I have, if I already have some of the cards that I want in Graveyard in my hand, then I summon Nightmare Magician, but if I don't, then I think it's a better idea to- Dang it, Konami! But if I don't, then I think it's a better idea to dump the other cards into the Graveyard, because they're probably better. Please don't be- okay. Please don't be an imper. Well, they can't imperm anymore. Okay, this might be an imperm. I might be screwed now. If this is an imperm, then I might just have to scoop because I can't. Dang it, effect Valor! Oh, wait, no, I can call by this. Ha! Take that! That is not a trap card! You did not activate your trap card! I was actually kind of terrified that it was an imperm. It was not an imperm. Um, and then I... Did I normal summon yet? Yeah, I normal summoned. So I have to grab the Chimera Fusion. Oh wait, no, I can grab two. I forgot. This grabs multiple cards. And then I activate the fusion armament. Pot of greed. Oh yeah, it is a pot of greed. I play pot of greed. This allows me to take two cards from my deck and add them to my hand. There we go. Thanks, Yugi. Okay, so um this card doesn't matter and I want this in my graveyard. That's exactly what is happening. <laughs> actually, no! That is, that is actually what it does. It's, it's actually really funny. It's like regular Pot of Greed. Like, that's, that's not how regular Pot of Greed works, Yugi. It is now. <laughs> Okay, so now I 
add this card to my hand. Um, and I guess I just put this face down. And I'll end my turn and wait for him to do Guardian Chimera stuff. Oh boy, Sword Souls! I play better Pot of Greed where I add the two cards I need for my deck. That is better Pot of Greed. How fitting for the Yugi retrains is the Pot of Greed accurate? Uh, okay. Tribute this card. This card battles monster. Okay, so I think before something goes horribly wrong, I'm gonna activate this to summon a thing. And I think I get another copy of Big Wing Befomit, or I can grab this one. Mm. No, I'm gonna grab Big Wing Befomit because it can grab me other stuff. And that way I can get stuff to my hand and just fuse with it. Oh wait, no, I, okay. I, I should've, I, oops. I, I should've summoned the, uh, I should've gotten the Quest of Quaddle? Is that what it is? Because I already have claws in my hand. Okay, that's a level 11. I do have Mirror Swordite in the graveyard, so I can negate this. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna Guardian yet because Ecclesia can just tribute herself in order to bring out the other one. However, the, if the Ecclesia just tributes itself, then I can just negate it. And I don't think Sword so okay, never mind, they run a level 11. Um, uh, I- Ew, that's- oh boy. Uh, I did not know that they ran that. Oops. Oops. Okay, I think I have to let him do this, and then I'll respond with a Chimera Fusion. Okay, during the main phase. Do I have to worry about this, actually? I don't think I do. Uh, what does this card do? If this card is featured something, you can send it on its turn. You can manage this card in the graveyard. Uh, no, that's not. Where, where is the big one? Honestly, I think I might summon this one. Actually, no, I need an illusion monster. Dang it, I don't have an illusion monster, Konami! Ow. Well, I will get to... grab stuff from my graveyard. Dang it. Okay, uh, I think I just pop this now. I think I activate Chimera Fusion now. There's no point in... I don't think there's a point in using this right now. I'll just summon regular Guardian Chimera so I can pop that. And this way, I'll get two draws. He's probably gonna be able to pop the Guardian Chimera. 
but it's probably fine. Maybe I should not have summoned that. Okay, I'm not gonna use that yet, because I'm going to confuse myself. Oh, hello! Other copy of Gazelle. And I add this to my hand. I don't think I want to add Nightmare Magician to my hand because I don't think I have a- I don't think this deck has a way of just summoning- Okay, he, uh, did not- He- he did not use his effects. It's actually really surprising. Oh, hello, Imperm. I need to... Okay, so first of all, I think I summon this. And I I I, I don't know. Some add this. I don't have any more stuff in my deck. Okay, so what does this do? Plus Illusion Monsters. Okay, so I think I have to summon this one. First of all, I'll activate Fusion Armament to get out the other Gazelle. The regular Gazelle. And then I'll fuse using it. Maybe I should activate Fright for Patchwork first. Okay, I'll just activate Fright for Patchwork first to grab my Polly and my Edge Imp Chain. I... There's no way I'm gonna be using all this in my hand, but it's probably fine. And then I summon this big dude here, and I use this on my field, and this on my hand, and this here. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't need to use that. Okay. That's my mistake. Um... I'll- I have another Chimera Fusion in my hand, so I'll- <laughs> Might as well just summon these before I just randomly draw either of them. And then... I think... I activate regular Chimera Fusion here. Um, and then I summon... a small dude. And then I should just be able to attack this, take a bunch of damage. And then I should be able to just run it over. Okay, I think that is the plan. Okay, so I have less life points now. So now I can just attack! Let's go! Wait a second. Why is this not dead? <laughs> Why is this not dead? I think. Okay. <laughs> um. I think I probably need to reread this card. Okay, never mind. Maybe this deck is pretty. Oops. Uh, I backed out a little too much. Maybe this deck is pretty good. I just need to read things. That is the problem, though. Oops, wrong button. Okay, um... I want to know why it didn't get destroyed, though. If this card battles the monster, neither can... Oh, okay, okay. So this effect that prevents it from being destroyed only ha it can happen for an unlimited amount of times. I, I thought it only just happened for once. Okay, that's my mistake. Illusions and effect generally 
Have neither monster be destroyed by battle reading hurts though? It does hurt. That's why I'm so good at this game. It's because I don't read. Yugi doesn't read the cards either. In fact, in the dub version, he physically cannot read cards because they don't have text printed on them. Thanks, Konami! Thanks, four kids! And that's why he's so good at Yu-Gi-Oh! Because he physically cannot read. Reading limits your potential. Just make it up as you go like Yugi would have. Yugi and or Kaiba and or uh, Yuma when it's, he's in a Zexel form. It's like, you think about it, right? You, okay, okay, maybe Duelist, Duelist Kingdom Yugi makes it up as he goes along. Kaiba makes it, makes it up as he goes along because he has money. Uh, okay. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ash the red dragon. Red rising dragon. Um, Kaiba makes it up because he has money. But Yuma actually, unironically, just actually cheats. <laughs> it's like the other two can argue, like the other two arguably cheats. Yuma objectively cheats because he can just create cards. I want to build this deck in real life. I actually, I actually do have this deck IRL. It was pretty cheap because um, I already had, I already had like most of the uh, Red Dragon Archfiend cards before the they got the Resonator support and stuff, and then so I just got it. And I've only used it like once because there are no locals in my no hot locals in my area. The internet lied. Maybe I should have just maybe I should have ashed earlier. Oh well. I'm gonna stick by it. I'm gonna ash the red rising dragon. Or rather, I'm going to ash the crimson resonator. No Crimson Resonator for you. Watch him have a call by the grave. I'm calling it now. This is Yugi cheat. He did. Dang it! Dang it! I think I'm probably screwed now. Okay, if he summons. If he summons Red Supernova, I think I'm just screwed. Well, then again. Hmm. Then again, I don't actually have any starters though well okay so if he summons actually no no i can probably okay he's he's going to red supernova <laughs> he's going to red supernova uh but i should be able to fuse these two actually no these two are fiend monsters i can't fuse these two together date kodavi <laughs> I can beat it, believe. I need to draw a monster that is specifically not a fiend. If I don't draw if I draw a spell trap or another fiend monster, then I don't think I can do anything. Cause if I summon Guardian Chimera, he's just gonna banish it. If this is if this is red zone then uh, there's nothing I could do. <laughs> I'm just screwed. Dang it, Kudabi! <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, I don't... Okay. I summon Edge Imp Chain. And I combo infinitely. Dang, it needed to be literally anything else. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, 
Only someone like me will be able to brick consistently. See, it doesn't matter if I play the most consistent deck in the world or if I play Brick Eyes. I will always have the same amount of chance of... I will always not draw anything that I need. I will always draw my Garnet so it doesn't matter how many Bricks that I include because I will always draw them. Uh, okay, so I do have Mirror Sword Knight. Um, to be perfectly honest, I kind of want to use this first to bait out, like, an Ash Blossom or something. Okay, my feel, opponent's field did not light up. Meaning that he can't Ash this, I don't think. Always count on can negative zero luck Yaki to draw the worst possible card and still somehow claim victory. Do I though? <laughs> Do I actually claim victory? Uh, okay. So I don't. There's no point in putting polymerization in the graveyard just yet. So I'll activate Chimera Fusion in order to summon this guy and I'll use this guy and does this have anything in the graveyard? It's you can add one illusion monster from your deck at hand. What is in my graveyard right now? So these two and this one dumps an illusion right? No, it doesn't dump an illusion. Okay, so I think I can still grab the Nightmare Magician, probably. I need to remember to drink more water. And I activate like this, and... I chain block like this, and I chain block like this. Um, no, I don't need this on the field. I'd rather have this on my hand right now. Well, then again, then again, I can use it for, um, Guardian Chimera. Maybe I should have just summoned it. Oh, well. Okay, my opponent's field is lighting up. Uh, it suggests that he might have an Ibiru. Uh oh. Okay, this cannot negate Nibiru. It's actually kind of a problem. <laughs> that's actually that's actually really bad. This this does not negate Nibiru. Um so this one and probably this one. And I want to send Another copy of maybe this. No, I'll send another copy of this. And I'll set this face down and I'll end my turn. Okay! This is significantly bet this is significantly less worse than a Nibiru. Stop! <laughs> Stop it, that's not allowed. Only I am allowed to brick with Ursa Arctics. This poor man's, he's playing Ursa Arctics. He, think this, he thinks this deck is good. 
Well, sucks to be you, pal. I play Ursa Arctics, and they're terrible. I don't know, he might just lock you out of monsters without a level. Oh no, that's horrible, terrible. Um, okay. So first of all... Um... Wait, is this only once per turn? Each of the following effects once per turn. Okay, so... Actually, I should probably just negate this. I think I should probably negate this. I'm gonna, does this destroy? Yeah, as much as I want... As much as I want to activate this, I think it's more important just to negate this. Because, like, if he has... If he has a uh, lefty and ready driver, he can just easily go into the funny dude. He can easily just go into the level 1 synchro and then he can just combo off for there. But if he doesn't have that, then it's significantly harder for him to get- That has a summoning animation? Oh no! It's a card that lets him draw thi- oh, wait, no, he can summon a level 8 now. You know, for, to be perfectly honest, I don't remember what this card does. Um... Okay. So, I, it's probably fine if I just pop things. So, I think I go into Guardian Chimera here. I don't really want to, though. Oh well, whatever. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I probably should have just put this on my field. Oops, oh well. Do I have a pol regular poly in my graveyard? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hey, let's go! That's what you get for thinking that Ursa Arctics are even remotely playable, even if they're new support. I should know. <laughs> I play them. Ah! Uh, okay, so I think the main... The main issue is if I go second, then it can just start negating things. It might be a problem. Because so far, I've just been going first and winning. But maybe now that I know what I'm doing... Okay, so this is a really good hand, I think. Uh, so first of all, I should probably just... TG's. I should probably just activate Fusion Armament to see what my opponent, if my opponent is able to respond to it. And then I use the Mirror Sword Knight. But if my opponent goes into like a board that just summons everything and gets out a bunch of negates, I'm probably just screwed here. I can negate a negate. getting calamity locked fortunately i don't think he can play wait unless okay uh, fortune okay fortunately i'm pretty sure calamity is not a sicker monster unless if it is unless if it's somehow able to cram a xyz monster into his extra deck but uh if he summons baron or what's I don't remember what it's called. Um That one TG like Excel Synchro thing. I think it's level 12. That one might be an issue. The Baron also might be an issue. 
All I know is I tried making this deck in Duel Links and Konami refused to give me them. So I'm no longer going to be pulling for speed duel packs. I'm exclusively a Rush Duel player. Okay, he's going for the level 12. I don't think he has enough materials to go into Baron. Unless if he does, then I'm gonna be really sad. King Calamity is a level 12 synchro. It is. Okay, yeah, that's our Glaive Buster. Uh. Uh, how many? I, I kind of wish. How many cards did he use? How many non synchros did he use? I think he used two, so he can use this twice. Stop extending! It's not nice! This is the part where I draw that one card that you can just like summon. And then just bounce everything. Dang it, he has enough materials for Baron. I think I might be screwed now. Tell someone to build TG for the event. Looks more cheaper and more condensed. Also, hello, can the acting chat. Sabar Freeman, welcome back to the stream. Yeah, today I just like. Well, tomorrow, um, uh, I wanna stream Helldivers 2 with my brother and he wasn't available today so I just had to switch Yu-Gi-Oh over to Friday for this week. Next week we should be going back to the regular schedule. However what is happening? What is going on? Why do you have infinite cards? Stop it. So, however, okay, yeah, he has enough for Baron. That's a Baron. Uh, I think I might have just lost this one. Did we see more Sonic shenanigans? So, uh, next week on Friday, I'm going to be back to playing Sonic Adventure DX Chaos Edition with Noob, uh, provided that he's available. Uh, but on Saturday, I'm either going to play like a random old deck that I have because I don't have enough gems to make a new one. Thanks, Konami. That's not a Baron. Or, like, I I actually figured out how to make action duels playable in um, YGO Omega. So that might be fun. If uh, Seth is available then and he wants to, I might play some action duels. I wanted to see if Turbo Duels... Well, I, I can also get Turbo Duels to work, but unfortunately, uh, speed speed spells are currently unusable in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'm going to play Fusion. I should probably read what this does first. Once Frex Act targets a monster, you can banish a tuner. Yeah, I think I might be in trouble here. And I'll put that in the graveyard. Maybe I should have just activated this first. Um, and then... I don't actually have anything in my hand that I want to get. Okay, so I'll probably just add another copy of this. I could fuse first, but I don't really want to. It's a base, it's... When were you a mod? Congrats. I actually modded him a while ago. <laughs> I don't remember when. Okay, so I think I grabbed the big wing before it. I'll just start with Mirror. Set up in the gate in low five. Gotcha. 
Okay, so I activate this. I do have two negates in my graveyard right now. And I grab the Chimera Fusion and another Claws. Um, and then I think I regular is this target. Yeah, that targets. So I can probably summon Chimera Guardian right now. Actually, no, that doesn't work, because I don't have... Mm, perhaps I should not have done that. Oh, well. Maybe I just summon this. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I just summon this. Or maybe I summon this first. Yeah, I, I think I just summoned this. Because he can just... target and negate things. Well, if it's this, I can negate his stuff. I can negate this twice, and I can just keep attacking into his monsters. And I still have a Chimera Fusion in my hand. Um, so I think I activate the Chimera Fusion now. Okay. That is fine, I'll use this to negate. Does this target? No, this doesn't target. Um, which means that I need to summon... I don't want to summon this because it's going to get destroyed instantly. So maybe I summon regular before it. Wait. Okay. Okay, maybe I summon this. Okay, so I think I summon that. I grab the Chimera Fusion back to my hand. And then I can use it to summon the other one, probably. And nothing that I have targets. And this thing can attack multiple times per turn. So... It doesn't matter if my opponent negates this one, okay? Uh... I'm kind of surprised they didn't use it earlier. Um, then I grab this. Then I can get Chimera Fusion back to my hand. And then I can start fusing again. And I'll use this one, and I'll use this one in order to summon this. And I'll add... <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many chains! Wait, what, are, what did I just do? Target a special summon. Okay. So I'll grab this. I'll summon this. Wait, can I- can I steal 
Can I steal a shooting star dragon? <laughs> Actually, no, I can't. Um, I'll dump another copy of this. I can't because it can just negate it. It can just negate the attack. But that's actually really funny, though. No, I will attack this. I will. Att I will attack this. It, he has to negate this now, otherwise I steal his shooting star dragon. And then I can just attack into this and turn its... and then just... Uh, and just turn its attack into zero. Wait, maybe I should've... okay. Maybe I should've attacked with this first. And then I could have stolen his dragon. Okay, that's what I should have done. I should have attacked with this first. And then he has to negate that and attack again and it's zero and I attack with this. And then I steal his dragon. Or actually, no. Something. I don't know, something. I, I could have done something to steal his dragon, but I didn't. Oh well. That would have been really funny, though. Okay, I'm starting to see why people kind of hate this deck. I still, I still don't think it's going to compete with, like, in an unrestricted format. So I'm not going to be making it then. But this deck is actually quite fun to play. When you attack while Nightmare is on the field, you can move one monster to start a damage step. Gotcha. Oh, hello, Nightmare Magician in my hand. Um, okay. So I'm going to attempt to bait out an Ash Blossom using Fright for Patchwork first. Because I think Cornfield... What is this? Cornfield Kotal. What OG Yu-Gi-Oh card is this a reference to? I've never seen this card before. Mirror is fine during Duelist Nexus format, but Age of Overlord power prep it's so hard, hate to see it. You mean Guardian Chimera? I'm, I'm assuming you mean Guardian Chimera because there's a million bajillion different Chimeras apparently. <laughs> Okay, uh, no response, no Ash Blossom, it could be a Nibiru. My opponent made me go first, and honestly, that's kind of terrifying. Uh, okay, so this is an Imperm. Either an Imperm or... Okay, dang it. But why? But why, though? But why? Why are you being so mean? From the GBA game, I believe. Dang. Uh, so I'll grab this. And I'll grab this. Okay, and then I think I... Chimera Fusion here. Everyone's just running Bistials. Stop. Um, so I'll grab that, and I'll grab this, and I'll fuse the big wing Bafomet later. And I can bring back the funny sword guy later. My opponent's field still isn't lighting up, so he probably only has this Bistial. So I'll grab another copy of this. And I'll grab Chimera Fusion back to my hand. And... 
what I'll probably do here is... I'm, I think maybe I go just go into Guardian Chimera. So that way he won't be able to destroy anything, and I can use just use Chimera Fusion to summon something else back. Actually, no, I can just use this to banish. Okay, um... Hmm... I'm actually thinking. I, I'm not really sure what to do. Because if I pop that, he's just going to get something else out. Um, hmm. And then maybe... I dump another copy of this to the graveyard. And then I think I just throw these two face down and then I'll probably just end my turn here. Get out of here! No one- Oh, monster aboard! Let's go! The actual snipe! I'm not gonna activate this yet. I I'm gonna wait until my opponent does something, then I'll activate it. Why did you put this in the imperm zone? I'm okay with this. Somehow I'm okay with this. Actually, no, I should probably just summon this first in case I need to use this to summon Guardian Chimera. And I'll just summon this thing. Maybe, actually, no. Maybe I should have summoned Big Wing Bafomet. Do I have Big Wing Bafomet in here? No, it's on my... Never mind, it's on my field. Okay, I guess I just summoned this thing. Um... And I'll summon this. And I'll use this, and then this. I don't really care about his face stat, actually, so I'll just use this in my hand. That way I can draw two. And if he gets if he gets rid of one of these uh, using this, then it doesn't actually matter. I don't, I don't care if he gets rid of either one of these. And he can't get rid of Guardian Chimera anyways. Oh, baby, it's time to chain. Chain five, let's go. <laughs> Wait, no, this is chain four, never mind. I don't care if they get destroyed, I'll just put this in defense. I don't actually care if he gets rid of any of these. Okay, gets rid of that one. Um, actually, I can just negate this. Yeah, I'm just gonna negate that. I'm gonna, gonna negate that, and I'll put this back in the graveyard so I can have another negate. So, interestingly, it sends itself as cost, so... I can use this effect immediately.
And I'll just activate this, and I'll grab all of my stuff back. Okay, yeah, this deck is kind of crazy. This deck is kind of crazy. Just had to learn how it worked first. Oh, hello, fusion armament. Um, I'll just activate this. Grab a regular Chimera. Is it able? Uh, cannot attack. Defense effects are negated. Okay. Um, I'll just activate this. It's like, you can arguably tech in Slifer the Sky Dragon and probably use it because you just have so much stuff in your hand. And I'll summon this guy using this guy and that guy. And <laughs> why is my opponent not surrendering? Should I be concerned? Should I be concerned that he's not surrendering? Is this like, is this gonna be a random mirror force? I'm kind of terrified this is a random mirror force. How many polys do I have in here? Two. Why is he not surrendering? <laughs> you have no more plays! Threatening roar into a crazy top deck inbound. Honestly, probably. Well, okay, I'm going to pop it then. Um, I don't need this in my hand. I don't need this in my hand, and I'll get rid of this one. No, no, this is, this is... Waking the dragon. I'm calling it now. I swear, if this is a Waking the Dragon. Well, he's still probably not gonna win, but... Oh, numbers protection. Okay. What the heck kind of deck is he playing? Bestial rank fours? Is that what it says it is? check mask history I can it's not like duelist cup which you're not allowed to look at your opponent's deck because Konami okay never mind he has multiple copies of Skullmeister I no longer feel bad for him he's playing heart earth dragon I no longer feel bad for him Bestial rank four. Bestial rank four is dang. It's like, I want to play Utopias, but at the same time, people who play Utopia are inherently degenerate because they don't actually play Utopia. They usually just play, like, turn one FDKs and stuff. <laughs> they usually just play rank four FDK. Okay, this is a good hand. Uh, kinda wish that I had a poly though. I do have an imperm. Oh, so I did actually, oh, yeah. No, stop it. What are you doing? 
Get your, get your dumb turn one Numeron out of here. Ha! Dang it! The sketch here is. Uh, I think I might have just lost. I don't think I could, like, if I had a poly, then I would be able to do stuff, but I don't. But why? But why though? Stop it. You can discard to add fusion. Um. Oh yeah, I can add Chimera fusion. What the heck? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna scoop. There's, like, nothing I can do here. Sure, he just happens to be going first, and he just happens to be playing Kish Tears. Sure, I see how it is. <laughs> Dang it! Restricted format, my ass. This isn't restricted at all. Okay, um... I'm gonna... Pretend like Ash Blossom doesn't exist. There we go, Ash Blossom doesn't exist, what I tell you? Ash Blossom is a card that has yet to be implemented into Master Duel. So guess I will um, do this one and this one. The beer is an event, and that's what makes me sad. Um, okay. So I'm gonna activate like this. Honestly, even though Chimera Fusion can get you, like, more materials, I rarely use it. Because I don't think it's that necessary. Um, okay, I guess I'll grab this one. And... I'll add this back to my hand. And I'll use this because I want more stuff. I'll grab this. Second effect is win more most of the time. You usually only ever do it if you have already have game anyways. Yeah, so like that's why I think it's not even though you get like more cards, I don't think it's worth running the vanilla ones. Cause there's always a chance that you might just randomly draw it. You know, like I keep doing.
Captain. I think I send this one. Um, and then I throw down a bunch of face downs. And then I think I end my turn. Take that! Oh, Forbidden Droplet, let's go! Uh, to be fair... Uh, there's not a whole lot he could have negated, because these don't really do anything on the field anyways. I mean, that's still a good, that's still a good one. I'm going to tribute this to get a big Bahamut. Big Bahav... Big funny dude. Bahamut. Burfomit. I'm pretty sure that's not how Yugi pronounces it. I summon... Big winged burfor burformit. Burformit. Burfmit. Funny dude. Um I'll add another copy of this and I should and the copy of the Actually I should probably just summon the Nightmare Magician so I have um poly targets. Unless he has like lightning storm or something. The summoning animation kind of reminds me of Mech Knights. Okay, so that's there. He's probably gonna get like... I, I don't remember what it's called, but that card that lets him dump Photon Lord to the graveyard. Or, or you know, Galaxy Trance. So he's probably going to go for a rank 4. Uh, okay, he's going for a rank 4. Um, I don't want him to summon right now. Well, then, no, I'm going to let this one through because I have an Imperm. I'm just gonna imperm whatever XCs he has. Galaxy Photon Dragon. Okay. And then, wait, I can just use this. I think I'm just gonna use this instead to negate it. Because I have another one. Maybe... Maybe I should have used the Imperm because the Imperm can only negate on the field. Then again, I don't think Galaxy activates a bunch of stuff in the hand anyways. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I should have... I should have not used that. Never mind. Galaxy Photon Dragon is my favorite Super Heavy Sam- That's my favorite Super Heavy Samurai card! Okay, in that case, I'll just negate this. And if he brings out another level 8, I can just Chimera Fusion pop it. But why? But why though? Dang it, that means I can't pop anything. I mean, I have multiple copies of stuff from my extra deck, so it doesn't actually matter what he banishes.
I mean, I have another one in my extra deck, so it doesn't actually matter. So I think I just have to Khmer Fusion whatever he summons. I don't think any... You know, if, if he summons... If he summons Harbinger Dragon, then I'm just kind of screwed. Okay, that's not a Harbinger Dragon. Let's go! Let's go! That's not a Harbinger Dragon! He doesn't know! He lacks critical information! And... I'll just use this, because it doesn't matter if it's on my field. Actually, no, I should have used this, because I forgot that Big Performant can special summon something back. Oh well. Did I use the class quaddle effect already? No, I did not. Okay, I'll, I'll wait until he has something that I can negate that requires targeting. I'm not gonna use it yet. And... You will go bye-bye. And... Uh, you go bye-bye. Take that! Maybe I should not have summoned this. Wait. <laughs> he doesn't know how to read! He lacks critical information! No one knows what Nightmare Magician does, including me. Um, I guess I'll just summon this guy back. Now, I could use Chimera Fusion to grab me more materials. Yeah, this is totally a win more card. <laughs> there's like, there's no reason to have this card. Like, I don't even need it. Um, okay. So I want this to be in my graveyard right now to negate stuff. I don't know, in case he has a random Karibo or something. And... I guess I'll summon this. Actually, no. I'll summon... this one. And I'll just fuse into the funny other dude. I don't even remember what it's called. Because their names are so long and complicated, I honestly don't remember. And I'll grab that. And okay, I cannot bring back the Chimera Fusion. Oops. Oops, oh well. I'll just attack. Go! Attack! Like a normal per- Go! My- Literal 1500 attack vanilla beat stick. My unironic 1500 attack vanilla beat stick. Stop, Yari Shinieru. You don't know that. You could have a random kite roid. Random Duel Links exclusive kite roid. I have to make sure. Win more effect locks you out of recycling the fusion. Oh, okay, so you can- okay, yeah, in that case... In that case, it's just better to not include the original monsters in there, because... Uh, the risk of just drawing them... Yeah. The, the risk of just drawing them... It, it, I don't think it's worth it. The Chimera stuff's degenerate. I have to draw it. I have to open it first. 
Okay. Well, I do have... Quaddle. I do have a Quaddle. And I do have multiple copies of Call by the Grave. Um, please do not be an imperm. Actually, no. He missed his chance to imperm because this uh, tributes itself as a cost. But if he imperms my Bahamut, Burfermit, whatever this guy is called, then I'm just kind of screwed. Please be an Ash Blossom. I have infinite called by the graves this time. Dang it! Okay, I think I've just lost. I'm gonna scoop here. There's just nothing else I can do. Uh, it's not letting me click surrender. There we go. Uh, you got GUI effects and negate stuff. You got hand trapping. Okay, but the sheer psychic damage of fusing with the vanilla isn't the OG comparison match. You know, maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that because it's just funny. But uh, yeah, the Imperm just stops this deck outright. Unless if you have like, fusions in your hand. But I think Imperm is just this deck's biggest weakness. Because, um, I mean like once you get the fusion, then you can do stuff, but in, if, if your opponent stops you before you can get that, then you really can't do anything. Oh, hello, multiple copies of fusion armament. Yay, I love seeing multiple copies of the same card that I can only use once per turn. Okay, that's an Ash Blossom. I luckily have called, but I actually do have called by the grave this time. I don't have a whole lot of... Oh, that's actually really bad. I have called, I have Ash Blossom and called by the grave, but because I just called by the grave my opponent's Ash Blossom, I can't use it next turn. Which means that I now have a completely dead card in my hand. Actually, no, I have two completely dead cards in my hand. Thank you, Konami. I mean, luckily, Perform It gets you multiple copies, or it gives you multiple cards. But I would, but I should be able to use Fusion Armament to do stuff. Uh, first of all, I'll activate Chimera Fusion in order to bring out this guy. And then... I'll chain block like this. And I'll summon this guy, and I should be able to get more stuff back. Um, does this do anything to hand? Okay, so I think I'll add Nightmare Magician to my hand so I can just fuse it away. I just use fusion armament here because I can. There's literally no point in not doing that because I have another one in my hand anyway. Or er, in my hand anyways. Oh, it doesn't get it doesn't get destroyed at the end of the uh at the end of the uh Okay. Um I think I wanna save this. I don't think I want to use this yet. I'd rather just wait for 
my opponent to do stuff, then I can summon Guardian Chimera. I'm more impressed that no one has brought up the Ninja Joe FMA when using this deck. If that's like, if you mean Full Metal, Tis Tina! If you, if by FMA you mean Full Metal Alchemist, I, I think that's a little too old. <laughs> All that again, there are no children play. Dang it! Wait, it's negated! It's negated, let's go! He doesn't know. He lacks critical information. Ha! I learned this lesson last time. You have no many how you have no idea how many times this interaction happened for me to actually memorize this interaction. Uh I, I don't know what Tistinas do. Hey, let's go! Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, let me get my uh, gems first. How many gems did I get from that? Oh boy! That's less, that's not enough for a 10 pole. I could pull maybe like one you are. Hooray! Tistina's scoop, that's what they do. Tistina's allow the play, Tistina's allow FTK plays. But they allow it by surrendering before your opponent does anything. And that's how they FTK. I am act I I actually do really like the Chimera archetype. I, I still, I'll still never make it though because I don't have the URs and also they can brick like this. Uh, I'm gonna scoop again. Okay, yeah, my opponent has to play. Unless, okay. So, yeah, I'm just gonna scoop. I can't do anything with this hand. <laughs> They, they, they brick a little too often for me to justify making it. For spending my very, very little gems and UR materials to make this deck. They just brick a little too much. In fact, I'd say that they probably brick more than Blue Eyes. It's probably not true, but it has what it's been what I have observed so far. Therefore, it is true. Yep. Yep. This is definitely a playable card. Thanks for that Konami. Um, I think I just have to, I just have to bring out Chimera Fusion. Cause like, okay, yeah, I can't do anything. This card, this deck just bricks and loses to Hand Trap just way too much for me to justify making it. I mean, if it doesn't brick, then it's pretty good. But so far, I've gotten like two bricks in a row. <laughs> Chimera Fusion deck, it's a little better if you run a branded package, but Snake Eyes has just pushed the limit of the deck so far, it's crazy. Hard to win when people run like 15 hand traps. Yeah, so yeah, I don't think this deck is good enough to justify uh, making it. Now like something, like if I had a bunch of leftover gems and stuff, and this was like, and I just pulled a bunch of Chimera cards, then I can make this. 
but as it stands of right now, I can't justify making it because I barely have any crafting materials left. Now, if it's something like Rescue Ace, then I can justify making it. Then I can justify spending a bunch of materials and stuff. Even when I'm low, but this is not Rescue Ace, therefore it makes me sad. Okay, so now I activate the Chimera Fusion um, in order to summon this guy. I think that was the wrong order. I think I should have done that in a different order. Oh well. Well, I do have an Imperm and an Ash Blossom in my hand, so I do have negates for next turn. But I think I should have done that in a different order. Um, okay, uh, I need funny corn. Funny corn snake thing is more useful than funny battle magician in this case. So I'm just gonna have to get this. Um, I'll add another copy of Sword Knight to my hand. I'm also trying to finish building Leerless Snake Eye in the Bell Star Rescue Ace. Ooh. Justify summoning a fusion right now. So. I'm just gonna on a standby phase. Oh, <laughs> I got rid of Crimson Gaia. So, on a standby phase, I'm just gonna use this so I can get it in the graveyard. And I'll just summon another thing. I'll just summon Big Wing before mid. And this is gonna get me more stuff. And then I still have a bunch of materials left for Chimera Fusion. You know, I kinda wanna see someone attempt to run Slifer in this deck. Cause you have so much materials on the field and you have so much stuff in your hand too. So I've actually, um, I'm currently in the middle of watching Batman, the animated series. I'm currently binging it, but then I, like, in the middle of it, I kind of got, I, I kind of got, I, I'm getting the feeling of, um, getting kind of bored of watching. I mean, I really like it, but when you binge something for, it's kind of like eating ice cream. Eventually you'll get sick of it. Um, I'll use an imperm here. So, as like a palate cleanser, I've started- I've also started watching Superman the Animated Series, of which I haven't seen yet. Um, I'm going to Ash this, and then Shane, then Imperm. And so I'm watching Superman the Animated Series, and like, I know a lot of people like usually prefer Batman, but I actually think I like Superman better. There'd be a point where it crosses over with the Superman shell, you won. Won't know when it happens. Ooh. I mean, I've already seen the entirety of, uh... I've, I've uh, already recently went out of my way to see the entirety of, uh, Static Shock. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna wait until he summons something. And then I'm going to Chimera Fusion. And which like crosses over with basically every single DC animated property that I can think of. What does this card do? Control one food monster, you can target one dark signal, blah, 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 blah. I think I'm just gonna pop these two. I 
Although what's really funny is like, I'm watching Static Shock, right? And you have like voice actors on um, this one. You have like voice actors on the level of like the guy that voices Jack Splicer in Shallow and Showdown. And you have them in the same show as like Mark Hamill vert a voice like doing a cameo as a Joker, and it's like, <laughs> dang, dang. There's like what? One of these is an A-list voice actor, and the other of them are just like B, uh, B lists. Batman has more serious villains with very sad stories. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get rid of. This one, and... This one. Batman has more serious villains. With very sad stories about Superman is I punch you really hard and save Lewis. Lois? Lewis? Who is Lewis? Lois. Partially, well, I mean, some of the Batman episodes are very, like, kind of boring. Like, not a whole lot of stuff happens. Because, like, for me, I think it's... I enjoy watching... What did he just do? I enjoy watching, um, Bruce Wayne stuff. Dang it! De okay, battle phase. The Fool! Um, I enjoy watching, like, Bruce Wayne stuff. Hey, let's go! I enjoy watching, uh, Bruce Wayne do things alongside Batman. But the- a lot of the times in the Batman show, it's mostly just Batman. Oh, I got a protector. I was like... Why did I randomly get Supreme King Zark? Well, um, in the Superman show, I think Car Clark Kent, or at least the episodes that I've seen so far, I've just watched like four, like four or seven episodes. Um, I, I think I'm just like on episode seven right now or something. But so far, Clark Kent does quite a bunch of stuff. There's like a lot of stuff um, alongside Superman. Cause like Superman, Superman just punching people is boring. Clark Kent struggling to become, like, to be Superman. It's like, it's like, um, it's like when Superman's in danger, no one cares because Superman's not in danger. But when the people that Superman cares about, when they're in danger, then there's, like, stakes. Which I think is, like, one of the reasons why Superman is much harder to write for. Or at least with, like, modern Hollywood writers and stuff. We have to, oh, Superman, he kills people now. Thanks, Zack Snyder. But, like, Superman... I'd say, like, like Superman hasn't really been done properly in the animated series. Or at least not as much. Or at least, like, in the mainstream series. I can't say for Superman the animated series because, I've, I, like, again, I've only watched, like, seven episodes. But... Um, I think like a lot of people, the reason why people are avoiding Superman stories or people are, are avoiding making Superman stories is because they're like, oh, big punch, big buff guy, you can't get hurt. And then that's the only thing they focus on. But why? But why? Okay, I think I've just lost this. Wait, no, this doesn't negate. You fool! It doesn't negate! Let's go! I don't know why I said voice I meant movies. Um, Static Shock is the Deadpool of DC. <laughs> You're not wrong! Both of those animated shows give us, gave us babies like Harley Quinn and Livewire. I don't... I'm not familiar with Livewire. Unless if he's in like Static Shock, maybe I just forgot who he was. Um, okay. So, I summoned this guy. I 
I'm more on the gimmick side, like the new adventures of Superman, Japanese Batman, HBO, Harley Quinn, and Poison Ivy. I can't say anything about that because I haven't seen it. Um, I'll probably get around to watching it. But basically, I'm just like on a massive DC animated uh, binge right now. Uh, what do I have in my graveyard? I have these two in my graveyard. So, I can add this thing. Um... And I think I'll just throw this face down and I'll end my turn. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Oh, let's go. It would have been better. I, I think I got rid of his garnet though. But why? But why though? Okay, I'm going to wait until he summons that thing, and then I'm going to immediately activate Chimera Fusion. And summon Guardian Chimera. Um, I guess if everything goes going into the into the banished pile anyways, then... I don't need this Nightmare Magician. Batman is supposed to be really smart and use tactics to win. Uh, basically, the two animated shows go into Justice League and then Justice League into the Flashpoint Paradox movies. Dang, I, ne I need to go watch a flat. Wait, I can get rid of this. It's actually kind of funny. Um. I'm not going to though, because I think it'd be better if I just destroy these two. And then now he only has one more card and I can just keep attacking. Hey, let's go! I should probably watch the Flashpoint stuff. I haven't yet, but I just re I really like Justice League when I watched it. Easy game, easy game. Your different dimensional fissure fissure thing did nothing. But I think I like mainly like uh, Superman more because, well, for one thing, the Superman show is. Uh, Newer, so like I I'm watching the Batman animated series, right? And it's like this isn't really a knock on the animators, but it's more of a product of its time. Of which I'm looking at it, and it looks like most of the action scenes, it just kind of looks like they're fighting really sluggish, sluggishly, kind of like they're underwater almost. While it's with the Superman, um, with the Superman animated series, the animations a lot more flashier or like punchier or snappier something like that and like because the action scene some of the action scenes in um dang it hot dang it kodabi is that some of the action scenes in batman the animated series are kind of distracting to me also t titans I really like Teen Titans. And then it changed it into Thundercats Roar. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Warner Brothers. Actually, I should have probably just summoned the other one. Oh well. Well, I do have a bunch of my negates in my graveyard now. But yeah, there's like, and on top of that, I think 
I don't know, I just really like the character of Superman. It was partially because he's like really, really outwardly nice. Like, Batman is also really nice, but he's, like, Superman nice and Batman nice are two completely different things. Okay, so on his standby phase... Oh, hello, generators. On his standby phase, I'll just put this into the graveyard. Why do you only have answers? Why did they not get rid of Ash Blossom? Well, now he only has uh, three cards left to combo, and I have two negates in the graveyard. But why? But why, though? And it also randomly has more attack than this thing. Because, you know, reasons. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's an illusion monster. Ha! Ha! <laughs> he summoned an illusion monster and tried attacking. That doesn't do Jack Diddley. Also, another thing is just like, I really... It's just like... I immediately like um I immediately start uh saw like uh I forget their names like Martha and his like foster dad I don't remember I don't remember who he's called but Martha and the other guy I was like I, I saw them and then within like three seconds I'm like okay I like these characters <laughs> also I I tend to like I tend to like um more fantasy sci-fi than just straight-up sci-fi, which is basically what Batman- Batman's more just straight-up sci-fi. Kind of. Maybe. Um, okay. So, I think I just summon this thing. And then hopefully get a Chimera Fusion. Uh, this only lets me add one, right? Yeah, this only lets me add one. Han shot it! Superman being a himbo shall live rent free in my mind. Um, I think that's like. <clears throat> well, from what I've seen of. Actually, I should probably. What do I summon first? This thing? Maybe I should summon this thing. Maybe this thing. Uh, maybe I summon. This thing. Yeah, I'm thinking I summon this thing. I don't really see that in, like, Batman the Animated Series, though. He's more of just, like... I actually think he's actually really smart in, um... Of course, not Batman smart, because there's very few people few people that can be Batman smart, but at least, uh, I think, like, Superman is, uh, actually pretty smart in Batman the Animated... or in Superman the Animated Series. Um I don't know what to summon. Maybe I summon this thing. Yeah, I, I think I summon this thing. And I'll use this and... Uh, hmm. No, maybe I use these two. Yeah, because that way I can get more draws. And I get a pop. I want to pop his field spell because it's very mean. Opinion of the Isekai Suicide Squad? I haven't seen it yet.
Of course, I am, like, currently very biased against anything that has Suicide Squad in its name, for very good reason. But why? But why, though? Um, so I guess I... Add this thing. Oh, hello, Fusion Armament. Um... I guess I just destroy this. And I'll use... Well, I, I, I actually think the Guardian Chimera draw is actually really good. It was actually ridiculously good. I got so many cards from that. Okay, so now I aggregate Fusion Armament. And I summon... Wait, I can summon this from my graveyard. I don't really want to, though. True, in most part of the universe, we always see Superman as a serious and pragmatic individual, but still hold roots of family value or some... Something, something family guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I quite like him. It's less like... I know a lot of people are like, uh, 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 nice characters, uh, but I'm like, meanwhile, I'm like, can we have nice superheroes again? Can we just have superheroes that are just, frankly, just good people? I'm like tired of everything being subverted. Is this more than once per turn? Yes, okay, this is a hard once per turn. Um, I could summon this. I don't really want to, though. Okay, I'm gonna summon this. And... I dump... This one to the graveyard, and then I should be able to summon a uh, Nightmare Magician. So that the Peacemaker. Oh no! Yeah, it's like one of the reasons why I really wanted like a Flash animated series, because like the Flash is just a really nice guy, you know. The Flash is just a ridiculously nice guy. Wait, maybe... What happens if I take control of a token? <laughs> what happens if I take control of a token? In hindsight, I probably should have destroyed a token instead. Oh well. Um, okay. Take this! Um, I guess I'll just destroy this because there's no reason not to, even though he has another one. Maybe he will also not read. Wait, this, oh, this is game. <laughs> Wait a second! That's just game! I know how to count properly. Oh boy! Ah. Let me. Ah, let me just stand up and stretch for a bit. I've been sitting for too long. Ah. Ah. I hope you, the viewers at home, are also not sitting too long. Ah. Okay, there we go. And it's just like another reason why I want to, like, I, I watch. I think I watch more like. Well, I, I think it's another reason why I'm more interested in DC animated stuff than uh, Marvel animated stuff is because like the DC DC characters tend to be like more idealized and or like more nice. Well, I guess it depends on the person, but 
Yeah. It is tend to be more idealized where like Marvel's like, oh no, we have to subvert literally everything. And I'm like, but why though? You, you can like subvert like maybe one or two people, but but everything? <laughs> you're gonna you really subverting everything? Maybe I should have okay. I don't know if I can use this in the same chain, but maybe I should have used fusion armament first. Um, okay, so that's his Ash Blossom, so he has to target something. So I think I probably use Fusion Armament first. That way I can have a Bufomet on the field. And that way he can't target this without me um, being able to negate it. Doing jogging right now. Yes, I'm texting while walking like a gym now that I am. <laughs> Okay, so now I can just negate that. Why do you only have answers? Stop it. And I'll grab Chimera Fusion. What does this do when it gets sent to the graveyard? You can add one illusion monster from your deck to hand. Okay. So now you're only gonna have two cards in your hand, bub. Um, okay, so this one, no, not that one. So this one and this one. What happened to your cards, huh? They're all gone! They're all mysteriously missing! And now he's uh, only gonna have, like, starters in his hand and get his entire hand back. Because thanks, Konami. Uh, okay, so I add this card to my hand. Um, and then I just throw this face down and... <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to... Okay. I'm just gonna throw that face down and prepare to summon Guardian Chimera. Take that! What the heck? Why does he- what the heck? Why does he only have answers? By the way, I might- Why does he only have answers? Okay, fine. I'll just summon this then. Blech. Blech. Um, okay, so... Card effect can banish from the game, turn one, I feel destroy it. Uh, but there's nothing in my opponent's turn. So I guess I summon this thing and just summon stuff back. I want Mirror Sword Knight in the graveyard, to be perfectly honest. Even though I want- I want to have both of these in the graveyard, but... Unfortunately, they're both illusion monsters. Oh wait, now I can send another one to the graveyard, okay. Um, I guess I'll just send the- okay, now I have more negates. Uh, I I've actually been looking into Unicorn Overlord. What, the trains? <laughs> Why couldn't I have gotten rid of this one? But why? But I I'm actually looking into um, Unicorn Overlord. Hey, let's go! I'm looking into Unicorn Overlord, and I might get it. I don't think I'm gonna stream the- like, I might stream, like, one session of it, but I don't think I'm gonna stream the entire thing, because the thing is, like, the entire thing is ridiculously long, and I don't think it's a good streaming game, because, like, a lot of it is, like, just- like, in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh!, a lot of it, like, 95% of it is just preparing your deck, and the other 5% 
is uh, actually playing the game. So, I don't think it's a good streaming game, but I might just do like a, uh, a gorilla stream where I just stream one session. Because dang it, there needs to be more, ho there aren't enough horny games on the market. There needs to be more games on the market with beautiful people. Thanks, thanks EA. Thanks Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> thanks insert game company here. Okay, the Edge Imp Chain, that is, uh, I would rather not have this in my hand, but it's still usable. The Mirror Sword Knight in my- Oh no! Oh no, I'm going up against, um, what's this called? Evil Sars. That's actually a really big problem. What the- he just used the sand- Well, sucks to be you, friend! I didn't even draw an Ash Blossom because my drawing skills are terrible. You can make it like into an introduction and simple tutorial from the Overlord uh, stream. I could. But, I mean like a lot of it is just like grinding, so I'm probably just gonna stream it once and then um, just play it on my own off stream. It was like, actually it's funny, it was like, I, I was looking into it, right? And I was like, oh, this is from, I, I was looking at a review of a Unicorn Overlord. Dang it, he can make Baron now. Dang it. Wait, this is an, this is an evil source. <clears throat> but, um, I, I was looking at a review in it, and it was like, the guy in the review was like, oh yeah, this is from Vanillaware. The devs are, uh, this is from the devs of, uh, Vanillaware. Oh, I, I thought he was going to the Baron. This is from Vanillaware. The developers that make, um, uh, that made that one game with that one witch mage lady. Yes, that one mage lady. And I'm like, oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> I gotta play this now. Also, thanks, Pokemon, for making poke your Pokemon Go trainer ugly. You made it as you made the trainers as cool as the you're as the main character from Scarlet and Violet. And that's not a good thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm just screwed here. Wait, this is. It? Oh, hello, Ash Blossom! You would have been significantly more... You would have been significantly more... Useful last turn. Um... Okay. I'm going to normal summon... <clears throat> Mirror Sword Knight. If my opponent doesn't negate this immediately... Um, okay. He can't actually negate this. And then, I can summon Big Wing before it. And he's probably gonna chain to- he's probably gonna attempt to negate this, but he has to target it. Meaning that I can just use Chimera Fusion to dodge it. Okay, he did not use- he did not negate it. <clears throat> it's actually really surprising. Um, so I'll use Chimera Fusion here. Wait, what? He can- it's not just the monster negate? Why? But like, why though? But like, why? It's- But like, why? What are you supposed to do, Konami? Why is it not once per turn? 
Okay. I just have to scoop here because Konami doesn't know what a uh, hard once per turn is. They haven't learned their lesson. Konami hasn't learned their lesson yet. They just want you to loop things over and over. Thanks, Black Wings. Could have gotten that card back from the grave. I couldn't because um, uh, what's it called? That one rank four. I think that like abyss, abyss something, uh, prevents card effects from being activated from the grave. So yeah, there's like literally nothing I could have done there. But like, why is it able to negate spell traps though? I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Lars feels exactly like Lagia and Dolphia, but the two have like 12 years difference. We never really, we never really left Dino Rabbit. I love Floodgate decks, they're amazing. Oh, hooray! Droll and Lockbird, isn't that fun? Yay. But why? But like, why though? Uh, you know what? I don't even, like, I can probably win against this. But I don't feel like, I, I don't feel like playing through Droll. And like, surrendering literally costs nothing. <laughs> so, I, I don't feel like playing through Droll. It's just not fun. Um, Cause like, yeah, sure, I can, I can like, bring out the other, the other cards and I do have a negate. But, I just don't feel like playing through block Droll right now. Okay. Okay, I actually have cards now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna activate the Quack Quack Quack. And... Add whatever this thing is called. And then I'm going to use this to bring this out. Therefore, if my opponent attempts to target something, I can just negate it. And I'll normal summon this. And I'll activate it. But why? Wait, can I chain that to that? Dang it, I can't chain it. Why do you do this to me, Konami? I can't chain that to itself. It's technically not in the graveyard. Uh, what else does he have? It's just like, in the super heavy hand trap format, it's just like, playing the lower tier decks just aren't fun anymore. <laughs> At least that's what I think. It's like, it's like, you have to get around it by playing decks that, like, literally don't care if they get hand trapped. Um, so, I'll bring this out. And... This one, and actually, maybe I should bring this out too. Yeah, I'll fuse using these two. And then, now I summon a Beatrice. <laughs> and... Did I use this already? Yeah, I did, did use that. Um, I guess I summon a Nightmare. I, I guess I add a Nightmare Magician. That way I can summon it next turn. And I use this to add to my hand. And then I prepare to summon a Guardian Chimera next turn. But why? But why? 
Wait, why can I not use these? Why can I not use this to negate? It is actually very strange. See, it's like... It's like, I don't even want to finish this game anymore, because... Like, DD Crow? Well, at least I get to rip another card out of his hand. HA! Take that, Sword Soul strategy Strategist Log Boy! How are you gonna combo now? He, he drew he drew the uh, uh, other Sword Soul starters, I just know it. He's like, and then now I... Well, I can negate stuff, but it's just like... But why? But why though? <laughs> but why though? It's like... It's like, what is even the point anymore? Why can't I activate these though? It's like, I should have been able to activate Mirror Sword Knight, because like, yeah, DD Crow is an effect. I should have been able to negate it with Mirror Sword Knight, but it wasn't. Oh wait, no, it, it okay, never mind. Uh, okay, it has to be a monster that my poke controls. Dang it! Dang it, Kunabi, it's, it's not a true Omni negate. You have lied to me. On one hand, this format has made for some really fun games of earning wins through so much. On the other, it's probably produced twice as many where your opponent just does everything to stop you. I don't know, it's like... Uh, what does this do? You can target one of the graveyards for some minute. No, stop it. But no, it doesn't even matter anyways, because he's just going to get more materials. No, I, I guess I just have to stop him from doing this. It's like, it negates, but it doesn't negate and destroy, which is what's really holding this deck back. And also, you can't stop hand traps with this card, which is like also really holding this deck back. You're slowly shifting into NPC territory. I think I'm already that. <laughs> This is like... It's just, it's really hard to not complain when you're using, like, I don't, like, a lower tier deck and your opponent just decides to play Super Heavy Sandmise. What the heck? Okay! Uh, he specifically summoned a... He specifically summoned a I don't want you to play Guardian Chimera deck. Why do you do this to me, Kurabi? Uh... I love Floodgates. They're amazing. They're in there. Um... Can I do anything with this? No, I... I can't even do anything. I think I just have to scoop here, because I can't do anything. Okay, I'll just scoop here. I love floodgates. They're amazing. He just like specifically played a deck where it's like, oh, no one is playing XCs this format. Let me just, let me just win. I can't negate it either. Okay, um, I have some stuff here. I have some stuff here that I can probably use. Have you tried the other loner decks yet? I haven't. Um, personally, I don't really want to because I can just make them. Well, the other loner, the uh, only other loner deck that I would be interested in trying is the Red Dragon Archfiend, but I already have Red Ar Dragon Archfiend. So, I don't think there's a point in me using that loner deck. Where's, I guess, like, the evil Sar? Dang it! Dang it, Kodabi, why do you do this to me? I can't play through hand traps. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll see what my opponent does. If I can negate this, then I'll play through this, but if I can... I'd probably just have to scoop because my opponent's just gonna OTK me anyways. 
But I guess like the only other one is the Evil Sar one, which I guess I can play, but I don't know. It's just dinosaurs have never really been interesting to me because my mind just associates Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. And I don't really like using pile decks. They're just not interesting to me. Um, the thing is, right, if I let him go into... I think I have to negate this. No, maybe I just let him... I'm gonna let him summon a Resonator first, and I'm probably gonna... And I probably just have to Ash the Resonator. Because if he summons the Red Rising Dragon... Chances are that he has another extender in his hand, and I don't have enough interactions to negate the Crimson Resonator and whatever extension he has. So I'm probably going to have to let this one go through and just negate the Resonator. Okay, he summoned... He added a Red Resonator, which suggests to me that... He does have extenders in his hand. Okay. Um. Okay. In that case, I guess I just negate this. Uh, he used up his normal summon, his soul resonator. Well, if he has that one uh, level three dark one. Dang it, how many res- <laughs> How many of these do you have? So if he summons that, okay, the Crimson Resonator is not going to do anything. Um, I will be in trouble if he has a Bone Archfiend. If he has a Bone Archfiend, then that means I basically, let's go! Let's go! You know what, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try using the Evolsaur thing. Uh, I think, how do I switch? Select loner deck. Uh, no. How do I... Oh, here. It's this tiny, tiny button over here. I did try to make a deck that revolves around artifact using DNA surgery, turning them into dinosaurs since artifact doesn't care much about getting the Hassleberry stuff. Hmm. Okay, um... What is this actually... The thing is, though, I've never used a dinosaur deck before because I've basically strictly just stayed away from him. So I don't actually know how to properly combo with this. Okay, what is this card? Drew one reptile, then discard one card, special on one level six or lower fire. Wait, did they? Okay, I was about to say, if they added that one abyss, what's his face, that water rank four, I was gonna, I was about to be upset, but no. No, they didn't add that in here. If that was in this, if that card was in this loner deck, this would be by far the most powerful loner deck I've ever seen. Which you just literally can't do anything because your opponent has an in archetypal floodgate. Um, okay. When you one reptile monster, discard one card. Special summon one level six or lower fire dinosaur from your deck. You can banish this card from the graveyard and target. Uh, okay, this does not have any level modulation, though. Drew one evil tile. You know what? I'm just gonna- I'm just not gonna even gonna read this. I'm just gonna attempt to play it. Because I think it'll be funnier that way. Wait, did I not just like this? Okay. I'm just gonna attempt to play it because I think it'll be funnier this way. Dang it, I've lost the skill check. Oh, I've also been like, you're gonna be popping out the babes, the babies. I read that as babes. Popping out all of the babes. And going to 16 the gate poggers. Unfortunately, I think it involves not drawing frost source though. Um, 
I don't think this hand is usable. I'm gonna go out, I don't know what any of these do, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this hand is not usable. I have to just hope that my opponent has also drawn garbage. But uh, yeah, I've actually been, um, I've been watching, I'm not just watching, I've been, um, I've actually been read, um, been reading, like, the, uh, light novel of, like, uh, the, uh, Moonlight Fantasy Journey something anime. The anime that has, like, the voice actor of Gakuto as the main character. Okay, yeah, I think I've just automatically lost because I think I just have to scoop here. Misk or Fossil Dig off the top makes it playable to BH. I don't think it is because if he summons Baron... Okay, if he summons Baron, then I think I just have to scoop here because I can't do anything. If he summons the other... the level 10 Sword Soul, then I might have a chance. But if he summons a Baron, then I... then I actually do have to just scoop. Okay, yeah, I, I think I have to scoop now. <laughs> Cause like even if I top deck something amazing, I have to top deck something that is immune to a negate and is also an like cannot is also a starter card, of which I don't think is possible. I'm gonna try one more. Let's see if this actually works this time. But yeah, that that um, I've been actually reading the light novel. I've uh, I've watched the anime. Actually, the anime is still going on right now. I've I've uh, read the I've watched the anime. I've read the manga, and I'm like what reading the light novel. What what what's that you say, Kenyaki? How are you able to read the light novel even though one, only one volume has been legally uh, localized? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You ask too many questions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually really goofy. Um, tribute one evil tile. Tribute one reptile. Discard a card. Special summon a level six or low of fire. Um, I'm assuming that I use this. And do I need to discard something? All light novels can be found if one is well versed with the seven C's. Your main phase can destroy. Um, I maybe I discard this. I'm just gonna play it by ear. Since this card, you can banish any number, including these cards, some dinosaur monster from your deck, blah, 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 blah. total level, banished something. Pff, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think I summoned this thing. <clears throat> Wait, it's actually like really goofy. This is one part at the beginning. Um, actually... Okay! Oh, This is an evil sword and not an evil... Evil to light. What the heck is an evil to light? That's actually really confusing. <laughs> During your main phase of control, this card is normal summon or you can send one word for your month and make two. Same... Um... Huh? Okay. So maybe it does something when it gets sent to the graveyard? Um. 
Okay, so maybe I send this to the graveyard and it does something? I don't know, a lot of people seem to really like this card. Wait, maybe I should have read the level 1s and level 2s in my deck first. Oh well! Oh. Wait, so how am I supposed to s destroy this? Um... I don't know, a lot of people seem to like Baby Source. Um... Oh, oh, this destroys during the end phase, okay. Um... This thing... And then this thing activates. And then it sends a thing. Okay, so I have an evil tile, so I need an evil sore. I, I can't, okay. Don't ask me to remember any of these names, because I cannot. Um, can I not send an evil sore? Um... Okay. The baby and Mike's are the kind of the staples. Any dino deck. Does any, does any of these do anything in the hand? Um... You know what? People really like Ultimate Conductor Tyrano. I'll just add this to the hand. Some of the evils are reptiles, but only raptor only- Oh! Okay, that's actually really confusing. Da Dang it, Kodabi, why is this randomly a reptile? I regret this decision to play this deck entirely. It's actually like, well, I should have been able to dump an evil sword because like this one is a dinosaur. Unless maybe do I only have one evil sword in my deck? Okay, so it's probably still fu- Please stop extending. Stop. It's probably fine. I can probably just called by the thing that it's gonna he's gonna send to the graveyard or like uh, I can call by his red rising dragon target but it doesn't it doesn't actually work here because even if I um even if I called by his target he still has another tuner on the field. He can still get out a level eight. Well, I guess I have to hope that he somehow attacks into Evil Sore Leo's or whatever his face is. Um. Then I can use this trap card to get rid of stuff. Or to exceed summon into a monster that I don't know how to, that I haven't read. Wait, this is a level 6? I thought it was a level 4. What am I supposed to summon with a level 4 then? Konami has just been doing reptile into dinosaur for a long time. It's just, over time, they made it more easy to do rather than just setting up and waiting another turn for the cards to activate. 
Um, he's actually doing anything. I, I guess this one might be able to do something. But why? But why, though? Maybe if I do this... Because, like, if he summon, if I let him summon into a level 9, he's just going to negate this anyways, so I think I have to just use it here. Uh, but it can just attack over it, though. Why do you only have answers? I actually have no idea how to... I have no idea how to use this deck. Maybe I should have waited until next turn to just summon the ultimate conductor Tyrano. Um, does this do anything? Can I be destroyed by card effects? Uh, okay. Um, I think I've just lost. I don't think these do anything. Because he can still just attack over it. Surely this is battle protection, right? Everything else literally has battle protection. Um, I think I just have to scoop here. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea how to use this deck. You know what? You know what? I'll just end it. I'll just end the stream using my own Red Dragon Archfiend deck. I'll just end it with my own Red Dragon Archfiend deck. Because, like, I don't want to end on a loss. Uh, where is the Master of Faster? Here he is. Oh, yeah. I have Max C in here. I was wondering why I didn't see a single maxi. Alright, time to add other hand traps because that's what Konami wants. Um, maybe I'll add some drolls. Imperm. What is that card that... Can I upstart? Upstart is not banned, let's go. I should probably add a, uh, I should probably add an Earthbound engine here, but I don't really feel like it right now. Effect failure? Oh yeah. Oops. Oops. Thank you, Konabi. No, it's not gonna matter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw any of them anyway, so it didn't even matter. See, I didn't even draw any of them. I only draw an I only drew an imperm. So the effect Valor wouldn't even have mattered. But why? But why though? I haven't why is Pearly in here? I didn't e I don't even bother I don't even bother learning what Pearly does. All I know is that I don't like them. Plus side of playing Synchro, there's no enemy, enemy Barons to play around, only Noirs and such. Yeah, only Noirs. Yay! I feel so fortunate. <laughs> With my one negate. I'm going to use my one- I'm not even gonna re- I'm not even gonna read what this does, I'm just gonna negate it. Uh, drawing the Supe is actually ridiculously bad. Cause like, the Supe doesn't do anything in the hand. It's just... I actually think it is... 
Well, it's not exactly a Garnet, because it's still a level 1 tuner. But it's next to Garnet. Stop it. Stop extending. It's not nice. The thing is, like, Red Garnet protects from destruction. But if I'm remembering correctly, I don't... I don't think Pearly destroys things. So Red Gardener is also another useless card. Yeah, I, yeah, probably should have added the Effect Veiler. Okay, I'll add more Effect Veilers. Yeah, but the Zeus. Let's go! Let's go! He didn't know! He lacked critical information! He didn't know that my hand was Garbo. Congratu- No, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, where did it go? Here it is. Oh, you get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! There we go. I remembered that I have that. Okay, let's try to do an actual game. Let's try to do an actual game, and then I'll, after that I'll probably just end it. A game where I would like to go first, Konami. Wait, I forgot to add the effect filler. Oops. It's probably fine. It's prob- Okay, hello Droll and Lockbird and also Supe. I would like a Resonator, though. Okay, so I have Imperm, I have Droll. I have called by the grave. Uh, I don't have a tuner. I would like to have a tuner. I would like to have a resonator in my resonator deck. Um. I'm going to attempt to imperm this. I don't know if this is how this works. I think if I imperm this on the field, he can't activate its effects. Well, it can try to tribute it, but I think it gets... But why? But why, though? When do you start adding infinite cards, Kodabi? When does this deck start adding infinite cards so I can activate my droll? The other guy was able to activate the droll. Um, I might be screwed here. Well, I mean... I don't think I can actually do anything against Ultimate Conductor trying right now. Unless if I draw, like, a tuner or something. Aha! He added something to his hand! I can activate Droll now! Surely this is useful. Uh, what does this do? Um... If card is... If, uh, during the main phase... Wait, what? What did he just do? Um... This card is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can summon some hand during the main phase. You can something... Something... I, I don't think this does anything. Unless he's a dino in hand, UCT is just a shiny beat stick. You can destroy one monster in your hand or field. Uh, well, I guess he can also destroy this thing. Uh, that is not a tuner, Konami. That is specifically not a tuner. Uh, I think I just have to scoop this, because... Wait, oh, oh, oh. Well, I think I still have to scoop because I didn't draw a tuner. None of my cards can get over this. Um. <laughs> None of these, this doesn't do anything, Konabi. Uh, 
Um, okay. Maybe if I do this, then I dump the droll. And then I summon the Supe from the graveyard and pretend like I have... Well, I can make a level 10. Do I have a level 10? No, this requires a Dark Dragon Synchro. Surely I can make something like with this, right? Wait, okay, uh, yeah, I just have to scoop here. Okay, wow, Fiendish Golem is... I I'm just gonna get rid of Fiendish Golem, it doesn't do anything. Okay, wow, Fiendish Golem is actually ridiculously bad. <laughs> Why is this here, Konami? Um, Droll also did nothing. Uh... How do you spell Valor? Okay, I'll add an effect. Do I have any other hand traps? Apparently, I guess I just need more consistency cards. I think I'll get rid of this for... I think I'll just get rid of this for Earthbound Immortals, because drawing the Supe is just really bad. Yeah, that's probably better. Yeah, a pair, I guess like Ultimate Conductor Tire. I thought it you had to like destroy a dinosaur. Apparently not. Apparently you can just destroy anything. So yeah, I, there's nothing I could have done there. Okay, Vision Resonator, Crimson Gaia. Uh, I, I would like to go first, though. That would be very nice. Uh, what is this card? If this card is in the graveyard, can add a Photon Galaxy. Okay, I can just Ash that. You, stop it. I would, I would like to go first one of these days, though. That would be very nice. Okay. No XC summon? No, he XC summoned. Take it. You, stop. Stop being mean. Only I am allowed to be mean. Okay, so... The thing is, though, he's, he probably has more stuff. Yeah, he can get another galaxy card, though. Which means that he's going to have more extenders. I just have to... No, he can summon another thing. Ah! Please, stop extending. I have no more hand traps. The main thing is if he has a way of stopping my supernova dragon, but the, I have a feeling that one of these two, or perhaps both, they're probably gonna be like imperms or whatever, because Galaxy Eyes generally doesn't run a lot of traps. Aside from Imperm. Okay. Uh, I am okay with the- Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> what the heck just happened? Okay, I think- I think I just have to end it there, otherwise I'm going to lose my mind. Actually, no, it's arguably already not here anymore. Uh, 
But uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be playing Helldivers 2 with my brother at 3 p.m. PST. And for or Dragon Archfiend FDK at its finest, I know, right? Um, and next week, I might do a gorilla stream of Unicorn Overlord. And on Friday, I'm going to be back to playing um, Sonic Adventure DX Chaos Edition. And on Saturday, I'm either going to be back to be playing a regular Master Duel, or I might be playing Action Duels versus uh, Seth. Actually, you know what's funny is I, I looked online to see the price of Unicorn Overlord, and it's like... The Switch version is a full 60 but the PS5 version is like $50, and I'm like, what? Wh why, though? <laughs> like, the, the PS5 version is objectively the better version because the PS5 has better hardware. <laughs> why, why is that one cost less? Well, I guess, like, Nintendo barely does sales, but, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there for, for today. So if you've been watching for this long, I thank you for watching. I've been Kenyaki, you've been beautiful, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!